it's currently coming to you from my living room in South Berwick. For Karen Reads. My book for today is called Ninny Lost and Found. And it's written and illustrated by Anita Lobel, who wrote and illustrated a bunch of stuff and got won a Caldecott Award. Okay, Ninny Lost and Found. She dedicates it to Ninny. I guess she had a cat named Ninny. One day, when the sky was very blue and the world outside was more inviting than ever, Ninny saw that the door had been left open. She ran down the stairs, out onto the deck, and into the garden. Away from the house, Ninny looked back. It is cozy in there, she thought, by the warm fireplace, on the soft couch, in the tickly yarn, under the big quilt. This couple has a big old house in Vermont, and I think that's where this takes place. Oh, but it was great out here. Grasses teasing her nose, flowers smelling so good. I like it, thought Ninny. Ninny walked on, slowly at first, then faster. Soon Ninny had gone far away from home. She did not look back again. You can see her house way back in the corner. Ninny roamed the woods. What soft mosses, what great leaves, what good tree trunks, and all around so many interesting little creatures. Oh, this is really, really, really nice, thought Ninny. There's worms and caterpillars and frogs and butterflies and birds. But then, daylight began to fade, darkness began to fall, strange noises hovered, strange shapes lurked, Ninny smelled danger, and maybe you can see an o a owl, a bear, and a fox, all of whom would be dangerous to her just because they're wild.
out of the dark woods, a big bird hooted and flapped its wings angrily. A slinking animal barked and made ready to pounce. A large furry animal growled and lumbered closer. This is not so nice anymore, thought Ninny. She scooted away. Just out of their reach. She found a hiding place. I can't stay here for long, she thought. Those bad animals are sure to find me. Ninny was trapped. Ninny was scared. I don't think I like it at all. I want to go home. So now she's not so crazy about being outside. It was then that Ninny heard from far away the voices that she knew and loved. Ninny, cat, where are you? Where have you gone? Come back, come back, little Miss Cat. Ninny, cat, where are you? Come home. Where have you gone? Ninny didn't know what to do. If I make a move, those animals, animals will find me. I must be brave, Ninny thought, and she ran as fast as she could away from the woods, toward the voices, towards the light, toward the open door. This is a beautiful painting. You can see the moonlight in the back and see her owner's flashlight shining the way for her. The door closed. Ninny was home. You bad, bad, bad little cat. Ninny was scolded. She meowed, meowed, meowed. The meows meant, I am sorry, sorry, sorry. We know, she was told. We are glad to have you back. We love you, Ninny cow. It was good to be inside, back home, with friendly and cozy things to hug and smell and eat. Out there is all right, Ninny thought, for a little while, but oh, in here, at home, is much, much, much nicer, at least for now. Uh-huh. Sounds like she got out more than once. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the book. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.